Today we are going to be turning this 2D image right here into a 3D image. So as you can see, I've already imported my photo right here. You can use any photo you like. I decided to pick this one because this is a face I make when someone tells me to get a real job. Liz! <laughs> I'm sorry. Back to the video. There are only two steps to achieve the effect that we are looking for. And the first one is to create a depth map. If you go to Google Images and type in depth mask, you'll see something like this. Now we are trying to create something similar, but we can't get it exactly because the ones you see on Google are actually AI generated or they are from 3D maps. We cannot actually get them from our real photos. So instead of going about and installing programs that you don't like to get that extra steps, we can just create it from the scratch and achieve almost a similar result. What we are going to do right now is we are going to create a depth mask and after that we are going to use the luminance of the depth mask to actually displace with our displacement map. As you can see my image has depth to it. I have my background right here and I have my big head right here as you can see from the back of the ears right here to the side of the face to my big forehead. What we're gonna do is create a depth mask with difference in luminance starting from the dark colors to the more bright colors as we go forward. So that is what we're going to do right now. What you want to do is create a new solid, go to colors, pick uh, a gray as we are going to be working only with luminance, pick this uh, almost black color, this gray but not totally black and press ok, press ok again and now uh, this is going to be, this is going to be actually our background right there. Okay so what you want to do is create a new solid again, this time we'll be going, we're picking a, a little bit brighter luminance. Press OK. Deactivate this layer so we can see our image. And now we start cropping it out with the pen tool. So just create rough mask, a rough mask around us uh, subjects right here. I'm your weekend, weekend special. When we activate this layer, you can see we have a mask right here. So what you want to do again is deactivate this mask create a new solid again and this time we're going to go a little bit brighter again and we're going to keep doing this until we get to the foreground of our image so after you finish getting all the layers done you'll have something like this activate all the layers and you can see we have something like this so what you want to do right now is I am going to select all these layers double click M on my keyboard to bring up the mask properties and I'm going in and feather and I'm going to feather all all the masks uh, into a single value like 70 you can play around with this uh, to get the results that you want but I'm going just to put in 17 every single mask in here So once you finish, you can see that we have something like this. Now, close all these layers right here. Select them all again and pre-compose by pressing Ctrl Shift C. And I'm going to rename this to Depth Map. Click OK. And this is what we have so far. Now, you don't have to actually go in and change in the feather. I just like the... Uh, using the feather which because it's a little more uh, softer and you can control it more but some people like to add in a Gaussian blur into the, the the depth mask and it will pretty much do the same effect but you just need to like pre-compose all the layers and then add in a depth uh, a Gaussian blur so the next thing we are going to do right now is deactivate this layer right here come to our effects and presets type in a displace and you take our displacement map and put it on our original image that we want to displace displacement map layer we're going to take the depth mask for the horizontal settings here we are going to choose luminance and for the vertical settings we are going to choose luminance now 
Now what you're gonna do now is change when you just change the max horizontal displacement and the max vertical displacement, you are going to see how it's going to affect. As you can see now, I'll be changing it, and you can see like you see this? Damn. So you don't have to go like crazy, you see like the image will be distorted. So it's just a subtle movement. So we'll start maybe from we'll start from like right here. You know, just before I look like a chimpanzee. Just like right here. Negative 53, I'll put on stopwatch. And then I'll change the vertical too. Like right here, don't go crazy on this one because you'll destroy everything. I'll open up the effects uh, properties right here on the displacement so I can see my keyframes. I'll move forward in time, three seconds, and then I will change it from this max horizontal from negative to positive just before it start getting distorted. And then I'll also change this, uh, the horizontal to from positive to negative, like right there. What I'm gonna do right now is highlight all of this. Press F9 on our, on our keyboard to easy ease the keyframes. I'm going to go to the sixth second. I'm going to copy the first keyframes right here. Control C, Control V to paste. And now when I play this back, we have something like this. Now the good thing about using masks is that you can go back to the layers and you can actually change the luminance values of the layers. Like you can select a layer and go back to layer, solid settings, and you can improve, increase the luminance or something, you know, just to make it blend in more with what you are working with. Finish up by adding in a solid here and picking the background color, putting it behind everything so it will hide uh, the distortion that we see right here, and adding in a 3D camera. 